Clause 3 looks at the provision of personalised housing plans. And again, this is one of the significant changes where all local authorities are going to have to start delivering advice and information and assistance in a, in a different way in the form of a personalised housing plan. So the Act tells us that as soon as a local authority is satisfied that a household or an individual is homeless or threatened with homelessness, they need to conduct an assessment on that person or household. And what the, the assessment tells them needs to inform the steps that they're going to put in a personalised housing plan. So we need to be providing meaningful advice and assistance to every single person who is homeless or threatened with homelessness. We're no longer kind of filtering people out if we think they may not be in priority need or they may not fall into a statutory homelessness uh, category. If they're eligible for assistance and they're homeless or threatened with homelessness, we need to be doing an assessment and then delivering our advice and assistance in the form of a personalised housing plan. All this is going to be delivered in writing. The assessment itself needs to be issued in writing to inform the household of the outcome of the assessment. And the personalised housing plan needs to be issued and delivered in, the, in writing as well to the customer. And the personalised housing plan is going to contain steps for the local housing authority to take in order to prevent or relieve homelessness. And it's going to contain steps for the customer themselves to take in order to prevent or relieve homelessness. And so the aim of this is to make sure there's a much more personalised approach to every single person who is homeless or threatened with homelessness and the advice and assistance that they get is tailored to meet their needs, meet their individual circumstances. So what do you need to do? So this, this is quite a big uh, challenge for everybody because uh, you're going to have more customers and you're going to have to spend more time with them. Uh, so what we're suggesting you need to do is to obviously review your operational practices <coughs> and consider how, you, how are you going to deliver these personalised housing plans. Uh, and that's not only having the staffing resources to do it, but it's also making sure, you know, have you got enough interview rooms to carry out those face-to-face -face interviews that will there'll be more of them and they'll take longer. Um, uh, and you need to work out how you're going to do those assessments uh, for everybody that approaches you that is threatened with homelessness or homelessness within 56 days, uh, regardless of whether they're in priority need. So it is kind of trying to assess what the demand might be uh, and, and, and work out your processes. How are you going to deliver this? Also make sure in terms of your recording mechanisms um, that you will need to uh, record. If somebody doesn't agree with all the steps in the plan, uh, you, you still have to issue the plan but you have to make sure that you made a note as to which steps they don't agree with uh, and, and why they don't agree with it. Because uh, if it's steps that you're going to take, uh, then they have a right of review of those steps. And obviously, if there is a right of review, you need to have that evidence on file uh, so that the review officer can uh, you know, make that review. Uh, so it is about good recording of information uh, and outcomes as well and, and, and making sure the applicant gets copies of everything they need to get a copy of. The other thing is, as well as coming up with the assessment and the plan, you have to keep both under review. So if you get any additional information about an applicant, maybe about their support needs or their medical needs, that means actually they've got a higher level of need than you thought when they approached you, then you have to go back, review that assessment, review that plan, are those steps that you, that you set, are they reasonable in the light of the new information? 